Hey everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that I mentioned in a previous video of mine, just really briefly, but I have a huge love of this. Um, the Game Boy Micro. Uh, it came out like 2004-ish, 5-ish? Uh, the exact time when the Nintendo DS, the first Nintendo DS came out. And unfortunately, this was supposed to be a further development of the uh, Game Boy Advance, but because the DS overtook the entire and flooded the market, this one just like kind of was buried and disappeared and flopped, unfortunately, because this is a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little uh, handheld and um, an amazing piece of technology. Um, and unfortunately, <clears throat> it was discontinued pretty soon. It went into clearance, not even like an entire year after it was released. And then I went crazy and bought all the colors of possible imaginable. I might make another video where I kind of go through all of them. But for now, this is just to present it as it is. Um, this is one of the original pouches you could actually wear it around your neck as a necklace as well uh, that uh, you could purchase. It's really cool. It even has a Nintendo zipper. Uh, logo on the zipper on both sides and um, you open it up. Of course, this is bigger than the actual micro. The micro just stands like here, not even like half of the size from this little pouch, which is teeny, tiny. Um, and you open it and here you go. This little baby is gorgeous. Um, the bottom, uh, I have a cable in here to connect. Let me just take it out for a second. I keep my cable to connect with other fellow players so I could do multiplayer games. And um, the back has another little compartment where I keep two extra games, just in case I want to play. So the Micro Game Boy, um, beautiful thing about it, it's made out of aluminium. It's, it's completely in metal, so it's an amazing, elegant jewel of a handheld. <clears throat> and the front screen... Uh, can be changed via these two little holes. You get a little key that you push it in and then the screen pops open and you could put all sorts of different screens on top that were also made <coughs> by Nintendo, sorry, uh, itself, or you could also purchase knockoffs. But um, this particular little baby is my favorite and it is the 20, uh, and what is it? 20th anniversary Super Mario. So this one was made like the, in memory of the Famicom the original Famicom, and it has a little Mario in the back. And it doesn't want to focus on it. Come on, focus. There you have it. Um, the sides, the top, everything is in metal and it's, it feels cold to the touch, but it look how tiny it is next, or basically in the palm of your hand. This is literally what, what you get. It's so cute. And the back, you slide the advanced games. I have Super Mario World in it. This is how it looks open. So you slide the game in and you turn it on and there you have it, the little game. Let me just put the sound down because ugh, you never know. Uh, rights and whatever, sound rights. I hate YouTube and sound rights. It's always like music. And, uh, so I just avoid it altogether. Um, here you go. This is how it looks like. I already beat all the levels, so my <laughs> uh, mm, Mar Mario World changed color, obviously, because that's what happens after you clear all the levels and get all the Yoshi coins uh, possible. And um, basic, you know, commands, operations, just as the regular joystick would have or the regular Nintendo Game Boy Advance would have. You have your left and right buttons here. You have your cross here, the A and B buttons there. You know, jump, run, or speed, or whatever, or twirl. And then here you have the uh, start and the pause button. Oh, sorry. Select and the start buttons. They're also made in metal. Here you switch it on and off. You have a jack here for um, headphones. Your This is where you push the volume up or down. It's so cool, it even has a little tiny hole here. We can, uh, you get this with um, an extra little grip that you could you know, twirl around so you could put it, let it hang around your uh, wrist so you could take it wherever you want uh, with you. And, um, and on the top, this is the 
opening you have for uh, recharging your micro Game Boy or the same slot is used to connect the cable, which I can show you, to play multiplayer games. This is this cable here. And then you just connect it to another micro Game Boy and you're playing doubles. This is great for, uh, in particular for, um, let me turn this off, games like Super Mario Kart, which I think I can also show you here. Is it one of them? Yes, there it is, Super Mario Kart Circuit. So you're going to need two of these if you want to play with two players, of course, not just one. And you put one in yours, you put one in your friend's pack um, console, and you play. And this is adorable. And the screen, don't let, you, don't let yourself get put off by the screen that is so small. You get used to it pretty soon, pretty quick, and you don't mind the size. Plus, the definition is incredible because the pixels are so small and there's so many of them. The definition is the best any uh, Advance console uh, from the Game Boy Advance uh, Saga series could have. Um, it's a gem. If you ever come across this little tiny precious jewel, get it because you won't regret it. It's great. Plus, I mean, these games, you know, the Advance, the Nintendo Advance games have been in production for how many years? So many years. So even now, uh, you find them a lot on, you know, secondhand uh, portals or wherever you go. And they're not that expensive. I think some of them are pretty cheap too. So you could have a huge, huge catalog of games to play and you won't get bored. I don't think just because, you know, the technology has evolved so much that the games are like in 3D and high tech. There's still a sp certain charm to these advanced games. It just will never go out of style and it will never become boring or dull to play with. I, I'm personally a huge fan of it. This is my favorite. I do have the 3DS as well, but I kind of grab this one more often when, I, when, I, when I'm out, when I go out, when I travel. Because it really, this really is the true pocket size you could have. A 3DS, especially the, the extra large 3DS, I mean, that's not a pocket size. I mean, let's face it. You, have, you need a special bag just to carry it. This little guy doesn't need anything. You just, literally just book it, put it in your shirt or wherever you go. That's as far as this quick, speedy review of one of my amazing, amazing, amazing toys and consoles goes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, subscribe if you like what you see. Give me a thumbs up or a Super Mario up or a Mushroom up. And um, leave me comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, night, evening, and morning. Take care, everybody. Bye.